Natalie Carey. Today I'm doing a no impact cardio workout using towels. So I recommend grabbing two clean towels, maybe the size of a dish towel or a hand towel, but any towel you've got available will do. Let's start, we bring the arms up into a sweep and down into a mini squat. So all of the squats and leg movements that we're doing today, I want you to do it at a range of motion that feels good for your joints. That's the whole reason I've created this workout, to be easy on the knees, easy, easy on the ankles and the low back, so we've got no jumping. So make sure that it feels good for you. We're gonna do two more and then grab the ends of the towels in either hand. Okay, go ahead, transfer them into one hand and then one hand here. And then I want you to press out the towel and do a hip circle, hip circle. Bring it in, press it out, hip circle, hip circle. And I'm gonna to turn to the front so you can see me. Press out, hip, hip, bring it in, press out, hip, hip. And when I'm doing this press out, I'm pulling that towel apart. So I'm getting some activation in the shoulder joint. Ooh, there was a bonus one there. Okay, give me one more on each side. We're gonna keep holding the towel out in front of us. There we go, get into a triangle stance. Bring this up and over, big stretch to the side and to the other side. This is just the warm up. I promise I'm gonna get your heart rate up. I just want some joints warm, loose, before we ask a lot of them. If you've ever done a battle rope workout, you might see some movements in here that remind you of those workouts. I'm gonna be channeling battle ropes with these towels today. Battle towels, if you will. All right, last one here, good. Let's separate the towels, one into each hand. And now I want you to just do towel shakes. So we're shaking those towels. Shake them out. I swept and swiffered my floor before this to get rid of all the cat hair. <laughs> I didn't want to like shake up any cat hair while doing this. So let's hope that it worked. You might also be stirring some things up. And my elbows are a little bit bent here, they're soft. Okay, we got three, two, and one. Now side to side slaps. I'm slapping on either side of my hip. Both arms go to each side. I have a little twist here in my torso. And I'm doing a small pulsing squat here. Now the arms are creating the cardio. They're getting the heart rate up. But we are using those legs. Get a little motion and lotion in those joints. Last one. Bring them up, we're doing rodeo arms, spin them around. So I'm spinning all in one direction right now so that the towels don't hit each other. Get a little lower in case you can't see. Okay, I want a few more seconds here and then we're gonna bring the arms down quick and then bring them right back up for the other direction. Three, two, one, woo! Bring them up, other direction. It might be very obvious at this point that I have never done a rodeo in my life. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just imagining that this is how cowboys train, right? They do it with towels first before the ropes. 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna do that over again. Give me five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're shaking those towels out. Soft elbows. Knees are doing this soft squatting pulse. We're doing three rounds of each circuit today. So we've got three circuits, not counting the warm up. A few more seconds of shaking these out and then we're gonna go side to side. Three, two, one, wider stance. Slap them side to side. Now, as you're going side to side, torso can twist a little bit, but I want you to keep the chest out. Flat back, no hunching forward. Few more seconds here, and then we're going back into those rodeo arms. 
And for the rodeo arms, you can adopt any stance you want. Three, two, and one. Rodeo arms, please. If you wanna get crazy, we can even march in place here. Whoa, marching rodeo, whole new sport. You're welcome, Southwest, and anywhere else that has real rodeos. Okay, a few more seconds, and then we're bringing the arms up and then back down. Whoop, I mean back down and up, other direction. There we go. Ooh, it's creating a nice little breeze. Hitting my hair a little bit. Watch out for the hair. Gotta have nice hair when you're working out. Well, that's not true. We can mess it up a little with that sweat. Okay, here we go. Last set of this circuit. Three, two, and one. We're shaking the towels out. We're doing last circuit of this. Then I'm gonna give you a water break. And then we'll get into our second and then a third circuit. I'm gonna give you a water break every time we complete a circuit today. Shaking those towels out like they've got dust and dirt on them. Get rid of all that dirt. I know that I told you to get clean towels, so it's imaginary dirt. Three, two, and one. Wider stance, slap to the side. Yes, I dare you to use this as a dance move next time you go out. So my elbows are soft, and then I do a little flick with my wrist at the ends. Keep going, we've got our last set of rodeos coming up. In three, in two, and one. Bring them up overhead, we're marching. I just put the march in here to give your legs something to do. Little bonus balance while we rodeo. A few more seconds, we'll bring that arms down and then right back up. Good, here we go. Down, back up, other direction. Shoulders are working. Ooh, look at this. They're like helicopters. Almost there. And then we get that water break. Three, two, one. All right, keep your towels close by. Quick water break, towel off. Hopefully, you're breathing hard. You've worked up a little bit of a sweat. And you haven't had to do any jumping or high impact. How great is that? Okay, so the next one that I want us to do we're gonna do an alternating uh, rope slap with a curtsy lunge. So you're bringing the leg behind you. All right, let's get started. Three, two, and one. So this is a movement that really reminds me a lot of the battle ropes. If you're doing battle ropes with this workout, make sure you're slapping the floor. And I want you to imagine that too with the towels. You're slapping the floor. We're almost there. A few more seconds. Get into a squat stance in three, two, and one. And now we swivel the arms. So I'm imagining that I'm kissing those towels together. I call these swivels because on the ropes, they look like a cute little swivel. We don't exactly have that effect with the towels, but that's all right. We're here for cardio, not for swivels. We've got 10 more seconds here, and then we're getting into a really wide triangle. Whoop. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Get into that wide triangle. Slap one side, slap the other side. So you're actually slapping the floor if your towels can reach down. And if your knees don't bend that far and you can't quite get down to the floor, that's totally fine. Work in a range of motion that feels good for your joints today. This is the last move of this circuit. We got two more repeats of it. All right, here we go, curtsy lunge. No, you don't get a rest break. We're going right into it. Now, if your joints feel good and you wanna get deeper 
and this curtsy lunge, that's fine. I'm gonna stay right here just tapping the soft knee behind each other. Because I am showing up for the people who need low impact and small range of motion on the joints. Okay, get into that squat in three, two, one. Make your swivels. Kissing those towels together with each rep. Elbows are soft. Chest is out, back is flat. If you can manage a smile, it goes a long way during cardio. Optional, not required. Okay, a few more seconds and then we're getting into that wide triangle stance again. Three, two, and one. Wide triangle stance, I slap the floor, slap the floor. The floor, the floor. Ooh, missed that slap. That's fine. We're not here to be perfect. We are here to move. Okay, I want 10 more seconds. And then we get into our final round of this circuit. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Curtsy lunge, small range of motion. I created this workout and a lot of other workouts so that people in all bodies can access movement. I love movement. I want to share my love of it with anybody who's down to join me. So if you ever have an idea that would make it more accessible to you, leave it in the comments for me. Three, two, and one. Into a squat, we make our swivels. I'm going to do up, down on this one. Get a little crazy. Make it a little different. Let's be honest. 
honest, most days, not perfect. Most workouts, also not perfect. A few more seconds, and then we're getting back into that reverse lunge with a slap. Three, two, and one. Slap the floor, step that same leg back. I know that people's bodies move in all different ways. And some people's bodies hurt when they move in certain ways. So I'm always trying to find like new ways to move. Just getting creative. Like how can we move in a way that's tolerable to you? All right. We're doing up and over. Slap. Slap. Again, I'm going to slap my legs. If you want to get lower, you can slap the floor. Halfway there on this one. Remember your breathing, because it's cardio. We are giving a gift to your heart and to your lungs. Give me a few more seconds. We go into that figure eight. Three, two, and one. Figure eight, figure eight. Ooh, maybe let that little hip dip go in there. That feels kind of nice. If you want to. Optional. Halfway there on these ones. Chest is out, shoulders are not rounding forward. After this, we go into this final circuit. You're almost done with this workout. Three, two, one. Reverse lunge and slap. Okay, so any energy that you got left in the tank, this is the time to slap it out. Make it count. Can you slap a little harder? Can your core stay a little more contracted? We're almost there. Three, two, and one in a squat, up and overs. Slap that leg. You know, this move kind of reminds me of those people at the airport that direct the traffic down on the tarmac. Like they've got their big uh, lightsabers and they direct traffic. I'd be, I'd be out there with my towels being like, Wee go this way. And it would be very unhelpful to the pilots, I think, if I was doing this. All right, figure eights. Drop that hip, turn that toe in if you want. This is a moment where I've made something up during the workout that I did not plan. I just go with the flow. This is what feels good today. We're halfway there on these shoulder figure eights. And then we're gonna cool it down for just a second. So stay with me for that. Three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, that's it. Grab the towel, bring it up and over. And I am bringing my hands back behind me to stretch out my shoulders and my chest. If you can't stick around for the cool down, make sure you've hit like and subscribe on my channel. All right, soft knees, bring it down to the floor. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. You can rest your hands on your shins. I'm going side to side with my hips. And now make sure those knees are bent and let's gently, slowly roll back up to standing. Oh, thank you so much for joining me. That was a great workout. I'm so glad you were here for it. I'm Natalie Carey. Thanks for being excellent to yourself today.